In this demonstration, you'll see Security Configuration Management, which is a module in the Tivoli Endpoint Manager for Security and Compliance product. SCM contains libraries of technical controls and compliance reporting tools based on industry best practices and standards for endpoint and server security configuration management. The technical controls enable continuous automated detection and remediation of security configuration issues. Report views and tools help identify configuration issues and help users report upon levels of compliance towards security configuration goals. In the Tivoli Endpoint Manager console, entitled users will have a module referred to as Configuration Management. In Configuration Management, users will see checklists. Some checklists are external checklists, meaning they're provided by IBM. Some checklists are custom checklists, meaning the customer themselves, or through some services organization, have created checklists of technical controls to help them ensure security configuration compliance in accordance with policies they themselves have set for their corporate or organization mandates. External checklists contain checks provided by IBM based on industry best practices. For example, the United States Department of Defense publishes the DISA STIGs, which include best practices and configuration controls for operating environments to ensure security configuration and hardening guides for compliance. The DISA STIG on Windows XP, for example, contains checks along a wide range of security configuration parameters to help customers, enterprises, and federal organizations ensure compliance for security configuration. A simple filter, for example, filtering on password, will help identify and locate checks that are associated with password control. In this case, we have a range of checks associated with different types of configurations for password. For example, password age requirements, password required on resume from hibernate or to suspend, or password uniqueness requirements. Inside the Tivoli Endpoint Manager console, users can explore information about each one of these checks. For example, password uniqueness does not meet minimum requirements, indicates that there needs to be a certain number of password changes on a regular basis in order for this system to be compliant with this particular check. The default value according to the U.S. Department of Defense is 24 passwords before a password can be reused. This value can be overridden by an operator if necessary to create a custom configuration policy for a specific environment. In this case, there are two computers out of 202 in this environment that are not compliant with this particular check. To remediate those two computers, the operator would click on the action link, select the computers to remediate, enter in their unique key, and deploy the action to remediate or fix these two computers to bring them within compliance according to the check. There are also analysis properties associated with each one of these checklists. The analysis properties, for the most part, correspond one for one with the checks and allow operators to, to take a look at actual values on computers for each one of the security checks. Again, a simple filter for the word password will show analyses associated with password checks. And in this case, minimum password age does not meet requirements, system configuration is not set with password protected screensaver, password uniqueness does not meet minimum requirements, and so on. In this case, we can take a look at some of the actual values. So for minimum password age does not meet uh, minimum requirements, we can take a look at the results. And for this one computer that has reported its value, you see the minimum password age is set to 5. Inside the Tivoli Endpoint Manager console, under Configuration Management, it's also possible to generate report views to determine security configuration compliance along a wide range of parameters. In this case, there is a simple report already created in this environment to determine all the computers that are responding to the FTCC configuration compliance checklist to determine their compliance status. When the operator opens this, a simple list of all of the checks, the status of the checks, and a few charts and graphs to determine the status of compliance across the entire range of the deployment is readily available. 
These views are also explorable. So if a user wants to determine, for example, what are the 39 computers that are within the 90 to 100 and 100 percent compliance range for the FDCC checklist, they can click there and take a look at the list of computers. It's also very straightforward to configure this view by opening up the filter dialog. And in this case, let's just take a look at all of the password policies in this deployment. I'll update the view in a matter of seconds. It will show the checks associated with password, the compliance status, meaning specifically how many computers are compliant and non-compliant in accordance with each one of these checks. And again, some charts and graphs to help determine levels of compliance across the entire range of the deployment. It's also possible with the suite of tools to determine overall historical compliance across the entire deployment specific to checklists or benchmarks, specific to computer groups, or to specific checks or computers. In this case, the entire deployment is 80% compliant in accordance with the checklists that have been deployed in the environment. There are 12 benchmarks currently deployed for this particular environment, and those checklists can be explored by simply clicking on the link and you'll see the range of checklists that are deployed in the environment and the historical compliance values for each one of the checklists. Details are available in the report views as well. For example, for the DISSTIG on Windows XP, you'll see the historical compliance status, the total number of computers over time that have evaluated the checks in this particular checklist. If you'd like to explore the checks, for this particular checklist. A simple click will generate a view showing you the list of checks and the status of each one of the checks in the environment. These views are configurable. So for example, additional metadata about checks or computers could be uh, added to each one of these views. The views are also filterable. So using the example we were following before, we could simply filter by cases where the check is a check on a password configuration policy. And this will simply generate the list of all the checks in the deployment associated with the DISSTIG for Windows XP that are password checks. These views are also filterable and sortable. So if I'd like to find, for example, only those password checks where the compliance percentage is less than 100%, it's simple to generate that filter. If we'd like to explore in a little bit more detail, one of the checks, we could simply click on that to determine its overall historical compliance status. You can also take a look at specific check results, which will show the list of computers that evaluated this check and whether the check passed or failed on each one of those computers over time. If you'd like to explore an individual computer, that's also possible simply click on the computer name, it will show all of the checks and check results that have been evaluated by this computer over time, as well as its overall historical compliance values. There are a range of tools in the reporting views. Users have the flexibility to add additional columns, additional filters. The reports can be saved and rerun on a regular basis. The reports can also be exported for archival purposes or for for emailing or sharing around the organization, for example, to auditors or compliance officers. In this demonstration, you saw the Tivoli Endpoint Manager console, which contains SCM checklist libraries. We looked at specific SCM checks, the check values and their compliance status. We also looked at a dashboard that represents overall compliance for the deployment. We also looked at the SCM analytics tool. The analytics tool shows overall historical compliance for the deployment as well as compliance status of specific checklists and the past file results for checks and for computers as well as historical compliance status of computers and the checks. Security configuration management allows you to detect, enforce, and report on security configuration policies and compliance across heterogeneous systems.